Morning, Tam. A recent study found that nearly 75% of Canadians have seen a deep fake online. They are everywhere. But how do you know what's real and what's not real? Here with tips on keeping you safe online specifically is Peter Smetney from Fortinet Central Canada. Peter, welcome to the show. Thank you, Sid. Great uh, to be here. We're going to dive into deep fakes in a second, but I do want to uh, shed a light on a cybersecurity summit happening today at the Metro Toronto Convention Centre. What are the hours and what can people expect? Yeah, that's, um, we're really happy to have the summit. We have over 1,500 people already registered. It is a free summit, as you said. Uh, focus on cybersecurity, so it's running all day today, uh, starting in an hour, going right till 6. So if you have any interest in cyber, please come down to the Metro Centre and uh, join us for some interesting sessions with our experts. It is important to find a source you can trust on a really tricky topic, and this seminar is going to be uh, really good for a lot of people today. I just want to shed a light on that. That's happening today again, Metro Toronto Convention Centre. Deep fakes. How can people spot them who aren't familiar with them? So deep fakes are, have become really sophisticated these days, and the reality is with the advances in AI and hardware, it is very hard to, to actually pick it out because they appear almost as glitches. You can look for things like rapid head movement or look for fine features and eyebrows, but what I would suggest is really validate your sources when it comes to you know the ones that are you see on social media, things that are unlikely to happen, or just look for trusted sources because it is really hard with the advancements in AI um, to, to, to look for things that don't appear right. I mean, if celebrities are being impersonated in deepfakes, it's getting trickier by the week, really, because the, the technology is racing and getting better and better. Uh, cyber criminals have really grabbed a hold of this. What are they doing right now, based on what you're right. saying? So what we're seeing, and when it comes to individuals, it's really the evolution of your email and phishing scams, right? So you got to be really careful. They're using it in phone calls, in video calls, and you appear to get a call from someone you know, a trusted friend, a loved one. So. What I would say is if you get any of these kind of calls or video chats and you, there's a sense of urgency and they're asking for sensitive information or they're asking for money, the best thing to do is really to either have a code word with the family and have that discussion, be aware that these things are happening so you're prepared, or really just say, hey, this call is glitchy. I'll call you back on WhatsApp or I'll call you back on your cell. You call them back um, in those situations, right? That's the best way to do it. Instead of trying to really look for something that's fake, if they're asking for money and a source of urgency, just say, hey, I'll call you back. Um, before we let you go, I'm just curious, again, based on what you are seeing uh, in, in this part of the internet, and it's tricky, how fast is that technology moving oh, it's, it's, compared to how a company like yourselves operates? Because you guys are on it, but this is, this right. is not easy to, to It's to not easy, out. and we've been using AI and machine learning for many years and doing that to practice protect the enterprise. So the enterprises are getting protected in this arms race with AI, so we're leveraging that technology to help our customers, but the individuals themselves currently don't have that luxury, right? So that's where you have to have that awareness and be prepared and be ready, because they are happening on a daily basis. We're seeing hundreds of these attacks against individuals. So For sure. just you know, be prepared, have the discussion with your family. And, and that's the best thing you can do against these deep fakes. I mean, not for nothing, I've been roped into this too. It's, it's weird. It's not a pleasant experience, but uh, hopefully you can get more information out. And today is a good, uh, good time for that. Fortinet's free cybersecurity summit today, Metro Toronto Convention Center, between 9 and 6. For more information, visit fortinet.com and, and try and get as much up to speed as you can on uh, a really, really tricky thing on the interwebs. Yeah. Uh, but there are people that can help you. Peter, this is right. really informative. We appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. And, and if you can't make it out, there is uh, free training on our website as well. Okay, there you go, Peter. Please come back. Let's continue this conversation.